study with your Bible teacher, Coach Colo. Let's study the Bible. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Are You Ready? Here on YouTube. I hope you have your Bible ready to get into God's Word. God loves you. Dios te ama mucho. Bienvenido al programa. Estás preparado para tocar los rodillos de Iglesia Esperanza Viva Internacional. Y oro que tengan su Biblia preparada para estudiarla. Dios te ama mucho. Well, let's drink our water. Vamos a tomar nuestra agua. Salud. Here from our spring in Augusta, Georgia. Let's pray. We got a lot to talk about. God loves you. Heavenly Father, we worship and we adore you. We thank you for your presence, for your love. Holy Spirit, direct everything that we say and do. Espíritu Santo, dirige todo lo que vayamos a hablar y que sea para tu gloria y para tu honra. And Merry Christmas to all of you. Today we had a great time. My wife and I uh, went to see my son play the the uh, flute at his school. It was great. He did for, for his first time playing. It was great. Uh, tocó la flauta. Mi hijo Carlos Israel. Fantástico. Para su primera vez. Muy bien. Amen. Well, praise God. I got, we got something very important to talk about today. As you know, something uh, very tragic, some of you may know, occurred in Jersey City, New Jersey. We're going to go right to it. Uh, just a little glimpse of it. It was like a war zone there. It happened in Jersey City, New Jersey, where I grew up in New Jersey, in Newark and Irvington uh, as a kid and, um, you know, as a child and as a teenager. So I have some connection in that way to New Jersey. So, um, but this happened today or to say almost, you know, yesterday in a few moments. So it did happen, and it was tragedy. It was tragic. We, like I said, I mentioned this. It's a continuation. It's like I'm a broken record, but this keeps happening because the Bible said it would. Paul said that in the last days, perilous times will come. Okay, here we go. I want to give you a little clip. We're going to go quick, a little bit, and then we're going to hear the mayor of Jersey City. Here we go. Listen to this. Live from News 4 New York, this is a special report. Hello, everyone. David Ushery once again updating you on what can only be described as a very dangerous and volatile situation right now in the southern part of Jersey City. We've been watching a live feed and witnessed a war zone, really, a volley of gunfire that was extraordinary. I'm going to take you out to News 4's Adam Cooperstein and Eddie Alonzo, who have been there. Adam, I know you're there. You're in a safe position. If you have to just run, do it, because we just know what you just heard a witness. The war zone is right, David. We've heard return fire now, gunshots for about 10 minutes straight, dozens of shots. We've seen a, a number of officers, armed officers, running by us, because let me show you how close we are to the situation. That police tape is less than two blocks away from the bodega, where law enforcement sources tell us one officer was shot in the head as in now critical condition. This is inside a bodega where a man and a woman, according to our sources, are holed up inside in some sort of standoff situation. And, and you can see ambulance, SWAT teams, federal, state officials here, and the response is growing by the minute. We have not heard gunshots now in the last minute or two, but let me play for you what this sounded like when you mention a war zone. Take a look and a listen. explain to you where this is happening because if you're in the area, officials are telling everyone stay inside and stay safe and of course again we are going to be sure that we're safe uh, as this ongoing shootout with police you just heard another number of gunshots we're going to back up again you hear oh the fire is getting louder and faster right now uh, we are behind the police tape still this is happening at MLK Bidwell inside of Bodega 
Chopper just arrived over scene as well. As you can see, dozens of onlookers out here from the neighborhood who are shooting cell phone video as this is happening. And now the gunfire increased again. You can smell the gun smoke from here. Start by saying it's a really tough day for the city of Jersey this City. Um, you know, in these sort of situations... The mayor know, of Jersey City. That, um, when you lose an officer, they say he's a great officer. And uh, he took pride in his job. And they tell you all the great things about what he did for Jersey City, or she did. And uh, in this situation, it happens to be true, 100%. Um, the officer's name is Joe Seals. Joe was with the department since 2006, um, and even more than um, being a police officer that loved Jersey City, that was probably responsible for, or one of the leading officers for the most guns getting off the street, from what I understand. Um, he was also a husband and a father of five children. Um, so it's a tough day for Jersey City. Um, Joe was somebody who was involved in um, the city, who officers and other precincts knew who he was um, because he was a good cop. And so um, I wanted to turn it over to uh, the director and then ultimately to the police chief that led the situation today and uh, maybe explain in a little bit more detail um, what happened and uh, if we can answer some questions. So I'll turn it over to um, the chief, so chief Mike Kelly. Chief, can you tell us your name, sir? Michael Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. So today at around 12.30, we received a call of shots fired in the area of 223 MLK Drive, Martin Luther King Drive. Units responded and were immediately engaged by high-powered rifle fire. A citywide assist was called. At that time, we were learning at the same time that we had another officer down in another part of the city, uh, down on Garfield Avenue by Cavan Point. I don't know the exact address. That officer since been listed as deceased. That is Joseph Seals, detective with our ceasefire unit. More on Joe in a little bit. Our unit set up a perimeter, 223 MLK. We had a citywide assist. We called for mutual aid from our partners. Our partners began with the FBI, Port Authority, all surrounding municipalities, ATF, just about all the folks um, that were within earshot of us responded. At that time, we set up a tactical advantage. Continue to. Okay, just to let you know that that is exactly what happened. They arrived there. Uh, they're uh, totally in the uh, Mr. Seals was uh, arrived at a cemetery. These two individuals had gun. They shot him in the head. They, he was trying to confiscate some guns from them, something, they, these were criminals. They shot them, killed them there in the cemetery. They go to this kosher supermarket. Se van a este supermercado, primero matan el policía, se van al supermercado, y ahí matan dos personas más dentro del supermercado, y después ellos los matan a ellos también. So, a total of five, five, uh, five, about five people died Five to six uh, died there in this whole area, uh, a total of, of six people. And they entered eternity. Uh, now, this, they have no motive for the shooter, for the shooting, okay? So, again, there were two shooters. They're dead. The, there, there's the, uh, the, the, the people inside the, the store, two uh, customers, they're dead. The policeman is dead. And there were also two other policemen that were shot, but they're okay, thank God. Uh, we there is no motor for this uh, for this attack as of yet. They are under investigation. But everybody showed up: uh, ATF, FBI, state, the NYPD. Everybody, todo el mundo llegaron a esta situación. Algo triste. Este policía que mató fue Padre, padre de cinco niños, uh, and so hard right now before Christmas. I mean, today, you know, and so short. It's almost Christmas, and here are the five kids, their dad is not coming home. So uh, we pray that God will give them comfort and peace. Que Dios le dé paz 
y consuelo. I, all I want to do is read to you right here in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse, verse chapter 3. It says, Paul, Paul writes in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse, verse 1 and Verse 1 says, But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. Then let's go to verse 3. Unloving, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, and brutal. And the brutal, the word brutal is somebody who is evil, who, who does evil in their hearts, okay? Who is committing evil and wants to destroy. It's violent. It's fierce. That's, Paul says, in the last days that will happen. And also today, we, just to real quick, to mention the, the articles of impeachment we get the, uh, uh, by the Democrats. Number one, abuse of power. Number two, uh, obstruction of Congress. It, the president will probably be impeached around uh, December the 20th, and then January will be the trial. All right? Very, very good. I want to talk real quick here and just mention the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is the next book that we've been talking about, Deuteronomio. Deuteronomy comes from the Greek Septuagint, meaning second law. It is an explanation of the law. The author of the book is believed to be Moses. The majority of the book involves farewell speeches from Moses, written around 1405 B.C. All right. History, like Leviticus, Deuteronomy does not advance historically. It takes place within 30 days. Israel was in the central Rift Valley, in the east of the Jordan Valley. It had been almost 40 years since Israel exited Egypt. The theme, what is the theme of Deuteronomy? Calls the nation of Israel to trust the Lord and be obedient. God reminded her of their rebellion. So Deuteronomy is great because it talks about, prepares the nation. It's the last book of the Pentateuch, or the last book of the Torah, right? the book of the law and the, the books of the law, and it, it's a preparation. The nation of Israel was organized, preparing itself to enter the promised land. Now, as I mentioned before, these men, uh, the policemen died, and there were other people in the store that entered eternity. Do you know where you're going to spend eternity? There's either heaven or hell. Where will you be spending it? Do you know? Are you ready for heaven, or are you ready for hell? God sent his son, Jesus, to die for you on the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. On the third day, he rose again. And he wants you to come. He's knocking at the door of your heart. Let him in. Let Jesus in your heart. Make him the Lord of your life. He, you can be sure where you're going to spend eternity. Because you don't know what tomorrow may bring. Today is the day of salvation. You want to change? Pray with me. Order conmigo. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Wash me in your precious blood. Señor Jesús, me arrepiento de todos mis pecados. Te recibo como mi Rey Salvador. Lávame tu sangre preciosa. En nombre de Cristo Jesús. Amén. Amén. Heavenly Father, pray for every single person. Say yes to you. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Give them a hunger for your word and connect them to a church where they can be discipled. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you gave your life to Christ, let us know at TrustJesus19 at gmail.com. And please subscribe to Are You Ready? Please subscribe. And remember, live for Jesus. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Have a great evening in the Lord. Live for Jesus. Shalom, everybody. Please share this video and subscribe. Shalom.